Earth Signs to your numerology for September. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Taking on that Earth energy, let's see what's going on with you Earth Signs. Best message. Best message coming out is 32, 3 plus 2 equaling 5, bringing in that change. Wow, loving that already. I'm trying to think out of the box over here a little bit with that music. Talking about conscious. Conscious awareness of what it is you deserve, talking about the intentions of I am deserving and knowing so. Spirit really wants you to understand that you have something that you definitely do deserve. Um, it is not a time to be playing it safe. Let's get out there. Listen to that music is going to allow you to think outside the box, tackle your job efficiently, really relaxing you and really motivating you as well to keep that wanting to go. Um, so don't stop doing what it is you're doing. Um, be the parrot. Listen intently to understand. And I love that listening because it's talking about that music as well. Music is really going to help you really want to move and shake. And I see myself attracting harmony, harmonizing intentions. So very nice. So yes, and using that law of attraction as, you know what, I see myself attracting harmonizing intent. Um, this is only those in harmony with my current intentions. I am getting clearer and clearer in every moment about what it is I truly want. It matters not what others are choosing. What is important is that I am pleased within myself and within me and who I truly am. Loving that. And that's where that music is really going to hit the soul and really want you to go, go, go. You're going to feel like you're more successful when you're doing this, though, too, because music really hits the soul, guys, right? It really gets us to where we really need. This isn't the time... Of, uh, for down music, we don't want to be depressed. We need something that's going to hit us, make us motivated. Go, go, right? So upbeat music, things that make us feel good. Um, and really using that will bring in a huge change in mood um, and really deepening the bond within yourself, which would be the powerful three within yourself, mind, body, and emotion, um, really, you know, and spirit. So maybe even the powerful four within yourself, even loving that more, bringing that emotion in. And this is talking about, I do deserve the reward. I've been working hard. Others are noticing you working hard as well, my friends, and they're going to notice a difference within the way you are expressing yourself when you're listening to music because it's really going to open up things that are satisfactory for you and really satisfying yourself, um, bringing in that courage and really opening up that third eye as well. So really pulling out a lot of good energies and really strengthening the mind and the decision-making abilities also um, of what you're doing. You can be surprised what music can do, right? Don't stop uh, taking things moderately. Make sure you are taking moderate moves, guys, right? You want to really be moderate. It's the perfect timing to really get shaking over here, the movers and shakers. You know, you got the stability. Earth signs are very stable. We want to be stable. We want to know that where we're moving is going to be a good area. You know, we're not, we might move slow, but we're not fence setters, right? Some say, oh, Taurus is lazy, you know, and oh, Cap, they just, you know, they move and shake all over the place. And, oh, Virgo, they're just always hiding out. But this is not the truth. The truth is, is that you're intently thinking about what it is you're going to do and how you're going to do things. Earth signs do not like mistakes, plain and simple, right? We have to make sure that we know exactly where we're moving and it has to be the perfect timing. We don't want to have to go back and do it again. This doesn't mean that earth signs don't make mistakes. It means we don't like them and we're not going to fence set because as soon as it goes, we're going to jump, right? We're not the fence setters of the universe over here. We'll give that to the water signs. Hey, can you get moving sometime today? No, we're very slow and efficient because as you're slowly, efficiently looking at things and you're very observant, Earth signs are very highly observant. They want to know what I'm going to hold on to, what it is I'm truly going after, and is it going to work? Because I don't want to put in all this hard work for something that's not going to pan out. And I'm not going to miss my, my boat either, right? I'm not going to miss my ship. No, you can give that to Scorpio. That's not my job. They can sit over there on the fence and then say, oh, damn, it got away. No, Taurus is not going to do that. Cap's not going to do that. And neither is Virgo. What they're going to do is they're going to say, hold on to it, grab tight to it. But let's watch and see where this is going to go because I'm not going to allow it to escape. 
I just have to get that motivation going, get energized, and really bring that dream going so I can patiently plan. Now, see, that's that, there's your point. Patiently planning out the situation at hand. I don't want mistakes. I don't want to be sad. So this is going to take a lot of decision making at this time. And Spirit says, you do these things. Look at this. You have a six over here for the harmony. Really getting towards what you it, it is you truly desire. Uh, this one over here. What do we have going on here? A lot of six, six, six. A lot of harmony. Wow. A lot of five and sixes going on. So we're really looking at Spirit saying, it's time to really put in the work, but make sure you're doing it while you're happy. Well, that's where the music is going to come in as well. You want the change. You want to be able to be as happy as you can and actually do what it, you know, exactly what you need to do. But we also have to have, you know, the motive. There's that motivation, the courage to really want to uh, take, you know, take the horns and run, right? So with the star over here, it's because I'm trying to get after this dream, whether it's a person or this job or whatever it is. Um, and it shows, hey, you know what, here we go. And it's going to actually bring the soul together as you want to re, you know, you really want to be united within this situation. And the more that you are united, the more the balance you're going to find within the situation, you're going to see this transform. Wow. For opening the doors. Look at that. Opening the doors to more things. You have the seven. The seven is going to say, well, now we're going to bring in the divine because you know what? You've centered yourself. You've listened to what it is. You guys see the fives, you see the sixes, you see the sevens, you see the twos, right? And it's just saying, get yourself balanced. Let's get happy. Let's change this up a little bit. Let's change the energy. The music is going to change the energy. If you've been feeling a little bleh, right? Let's do something to change it up. Changing the energy changes the results. When you're in the same energy all the time, or always playing it safe, or always doing this, you're not changing anything. You're just residual. You're doing the same thing in and out and maybe looking for the same results. So this is saying, no, let's, we're going to change the energy, get this going on so that we can bring new things in because then it sparks new ideas, right? It gets that creativity going. You know, we're going to bring in the chakras if we wanted to on this because it would say, yes, then it's going to open up the throat chakra of communication and creativity, really getting passionate to what I really, my heart's desire. Right? And sometimes that's all we need. We need to get out of one way of thinking, one kind of rut, so that we can get energized, relax ourselves, so that we, we can get and strengthen ourselves into a whole new energy and a whole new decision making, which will bring in new abilities of where to move and what to do. And really launching yourself out there to receive all kinds of beautiful things. It's all about energy though, guys, right? Because if we go in and out and we're doing the same thing all the time. Oh my God, it's Monday. Oh my God, it's Tuesday. Oh my God, it's Wednesday hump day. Where's Friday? But what if you, what if you re, redid it? What if you woke up on Monday and said, you know what, today I'm going to say, you know what, screw it. I'm going to go to work today. I'm going to listen to music, be happy, and then see how the week changes. Instead of saying, oh my God, it's Monday. You're going to go to work and you're going to say, oh my God. I'm going to go make money. See how it changes that because now you're changing that. Listen to the music that you want on the way to work, whatever, right? And during lunch and then see how it's changing the energy around you. And you realize you're getting so much more out of the situation and you're going to feel a lot happier about the situation because you're connecting now to your soul, to yourself and to the community of everything around you differently by eliminating a different spark. Interesting, right? That way it's not the same as the day in, day out. It'll, hey, you walk into work and you're like, happy Monday, everybody. That's going to freak everybody out because they're still looking for their coffee. They, they can't see. <laughs> they don't want to see, <laughs> right? I'm still tired. I don't care. I don't want to be here. But then you walk in as this star and you realize, watch how the whole week changes and do it every day and see how it changes and how everybody around you sees you differently. They may think you're crazy, okay? <laughs> so you're working there for like 24 years. Well, what the hell are you doing? What are you taking, the happy pills? But just see how it changes everything and then watch how everything expands differently and watch how your energy, your motivation, 
and just the way you feel changes as well because you're, even your energy levels are going to change from being mopey, tropey, I hate being here, to, whoa, what the hell? It does change. It will do that. So just watch that. And you know what? If it doesn't do it 100% the first week, try it the second week. Maybe it's one of those things that I have to kind of move, right? Move in slowly. But you do that. I guarantee you it will make a difference. Okay. And until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye. Thank you.